ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Lou Kellogg Stadium, <laughs> site of tonight's volleyball matchup between your very own Regis Jesuit Raiders and the Little Tin Lions. Steven Snyder here with my color commentator, Michael Bell, my producer, Tommy Rains, my cameraman, Charlie Chuck Smith, and my statistician, Tom Beasley. Great to have you here, guys. And Michael, fantastic to have you here again. It's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. And we are here in the girls' division gym tonight. Here for a great one. It's going to be a good one. It's definitely senior night, a big one. Last home game for all those seniors out there. Uh, one of the most special nights for sure for all those seniors. Congratulations to those seniors for the Regis Jesuit team. There's only two this year, Shelby Shaw, Zach, and Caitlin Taggart, both instrumental parts of the team. Uh, Caitlin Taggart, I know a captain for this team, and Shelby Shaw, Zach, a very key player, so... They will be missed, and we hope they have a great last home game tonight. Michael, what do you look for the Raiders to do uh, tonight against these Littleton Lions, who, according to Max Preps, are 2-15? and 15? Well, I definitely think they need to come out with a lot of energy and show their power at the first serve and just keep it rolling and play their game, and hopefully the Raiders can come out with their 3-0 uh, set sweep. I'm looking for a big game for Shelby Shawzak tonight. Her last chance in a Regis uniform in this gym. So she must be super excited. She's going all out, as you can tell, on the serves, warming up. You can tell the jitters are definitely there, but she's super excited for this one. And the Raiders 5-10 and 10 or 6-10 and 10 coming into tonight. So they are playoff eligible, Michael. They will play in the playoffs. I believe girls volleyball, almost everybody makes the playoffs. So it won't be their last game, but to have a last home game, because they definitely will not have home court advantage, uh, that's really key, and it's really exciting, Michael. It's thrilling. It really is, and this is one of the uh, biggest games for the Raiders because they need this momentum to go into the playoffs. This is their last home game, as we said, and uh, if they can pull this one off and get a big momentum sweep, hopefully they can take that to the playoffs and make a, maybe make a big run. Indeed, Michael, isn't that the hope of everybody? State championship dreams now starting to creep into the minds of all these fall sport athletes and looking to close out and be big. Michael, what do you think the keys for the Raiders are to go to a 3-0 set sweep as you're predicting here? What do you think we'll do? And Athlete, you can tell us after we take a quick break for our national anthem. And welcome back, folks. Michael, I absolutely love the Pledge of Allegiance. I know I said that last game. It just, it gets me, Michael. It gets me. It really gets your, uh, blood, bo their, your blood boiling for sure. Just the excitement of the game about to happen. And you know, once that, that national anthem is said, the game is about to go. So here we go. Shelby Shawzak, senior, being introduced for the final time. It looks like they're gonna bring out flowers. Oh. Uh, oh, there's I, your parents. I love senior traditions. Shelby looking to attend Gonzaga, Regis, CSU, or Loyola Chicago in next year, so. Fantastic story there. Love all those schools, all it great schools. Really is. My sister is a senior at Gonzaga, and she loves it. And Hopefully uh, Shelby chooses the right college of her choice, and I bet she'll be happy anywhere, and they'll be happy to have her too. And, Michael, before the game, I saw those little masks they made with Shelby and Kaylin's face on it. Those are just fantastic. <laughs> Courtesy of Mrs. Strom for making those tonight. Um, and now here is the last senior on the Regis team, Katie Taggart. Caitlin Taggart. 
coming out. So, Kaylin Taggart, really key setter and server for the Raiders this year. She really has. She's opened up the game for most games. We broadcasted as their key server to get them rolling and hopefully get a big momentum at the start of the game. And she is looking for, um, she's looking to go to Colorado State or Gonzaga University. Same as Shelby. So both schools, great volleyball programs from what I've heard. So both these ladies looking to play at the next level, Michael. Definitely. I do not know if any of them have scholarships yet, but there's definitely that key chance of walking on and uh, playing their dream of playing in college. So that's always great. And Michael, congratulations to those seniors for their final introduction at home here and getting a little emotional, not gonna lie. Everyone is, especially the parents of the two teams, of the two players, sorry. Now as we go through player introductions, what are the keys for the Lions tonight, Michael? I think the Lions need to come out and start with a big lead. The Raiders always have trouble coming back um, from big deficits. So if the Lions can somehow pull off a big start and a big lead, it will be very difficult for the Raiders to come back and uh, pull off this last home win. And Michael, how do you think they can achieve that? Should they attack the Raiders on the sides, up the middle, off the serve? What are you thinking? I think a big one is off the serves for sure. Uh, Regis has great block, a great blocking squad up front. For They're very good at blocking the spikes. And I did not see any really key, very powerful spikers for Littleton warming up. But uh, I did see some good servers. So I think that will be a key for the Lions. And what about the Raiders, Michael? Well, the Raiders need to come out with a lot of energy and a lot of pride. This is the last home game. Always the most uh, pleasurable one just to say goodbye to the seniors. And if they come out, play their game. And if we see a big night from King and Strom or big spikers and Hopefully Shelby Shawzak has a big one with her blocks and see if Taggart can come out and start a big roll with all of her amazing serves. Hopefully we can take a 3-0 sweep. I really think the Regis Jesuit SWAT team is gonna be key here tonight, Michael. Um, they're always key and they're always big, so we'll see here if they can come out and get the blocks they need, even especially if Littleton doesn't have any powerful spikers, as you said. So there are Raiders will probably see a lot of free balls tonight that they need to take advantage of, just control them, set, and then kill them with a good hard spike, so. For sure, they also need to control uh, the length of those spikes. You've seen recently, they've just been trying to go so hard on those spikes out there. It's going out of bounds, so hopefully Claire Stroman, King, and uh, Shawzak can get those under control and place them, but place them with a lot of power and get those in those deep corners. And great tradition the Raiders have, Michael, throwing the candy when they start uh, before they go hand the coaches. Really gets the crowd into the game, and it's just a nice way to connect with the crowd. You don't see that from a lot of teams. You really don't. This is the only sport you really see that, and uh, it's a great tradition. All of them getting up on their feet, getting excited, gets the crowd definitely into the game. A very big crowd tonight uh, for senior night and uh, – Everyone has their PSATs in the day off tomorrow, so hopefully we'll ha hear a very loud crowd tonight. Definitely, Michael. And I don't think people realize in volleyball how key the noise for home field advantage actually is. It really is. I was talking to some of the players, especially Claire Strom, and she says once you hear that crowd and uh, the loudness of it and that you know that people have your back and they're wanting you to do well, it just brings you up your spirits and makes you want to play better. So we'll see here, Raiders need to get out to an early lead and get this first game on lock. Littleton Lions need to get out to just an early point lead, I think, for the Keys. Raiders SWAT team looking to match up against the Littleton Lions servers. Got a real exciting one for here, you folks. And we'll be back momentarily with the start of this matchup.
Welcome back, Raider fans, to Regis Jesuit High School for tonight's volleyball matchup between the 2 and 15 Littleton Lions and the 5 and 10 Regis Jesuit Raiders. A uh, couple Davids going at it. Don't really have a Goliath team here, Michael. Who is your prediction for the win tonight? Uh, my prediction is for sure the Regis Raiders tonight. I can predict they coming out with a lot of energy. Tiger getting them up to a big early lead and just taking that momentum all the way to a 3-0 set sweep. I have the Raiders in four, Michael. I think Littleton's going to grab one early, but the Raiders will be able to settle down. Served by Tiger, set, and the just a bump over by Littleton. There's the free balls we were talking about, but Regis gives it right back and runs into it. Rough play there for the Raiders. Looks like they had a free ball and just gave it away. A little miscommunication there, definitely with Sturges and Taggart. Uh, just a little mental mistakes right now, and it, hopefully the Raiders can clean those up and start taking advantage of those. Serve here by Pacino. Interesting fact, Michael, I went to elementary school with her older sister. Oh. Dig by Carlson. Set by Taggart for Strom, and way out of bounds. Not even close. That's what I was talking about, but those big, powerful serves. Um, and sorry, spikes at front that they just need to control those and hit those more down and in bounds rather than so powerful and out. It was tipped by the Lions, though, so that ties our game at one. Cotner to serve for the Raiders. Dig by Fielder. Set by number 12 for Capra. Capra tries to spike, but Carlson manages to dig. Miscommunication by the Lions. And Shelby, it seems like she had hit the net. So that would, did she hit the net? Oh, no, sorry, number eight for Littleton hit the net. So that's going to be a Raiders point. No, it was it was the Raiders hit the net, Michael, because Littleton got the point. Gherkin to serve. Dig by Carlson. Set by Tiger for King. Throws it down, but a great gig. A set by Gherkin for Capra. Great dig by Kotner, though. Tiger with the set for Sturgis off the top of the net, and that'll be four hits for the Raiders. Those need to definitely come into play for the Raiders to win. Sturgis needs just to get that over just a barely another inch, and uh, hopefully she can get those powerful ones down. Served by Gherkin. Nice dig by Sturgis for the set by Tiger. Shawzak, great placement, but Capra gets it up. Thorin gets it up. Number eight pops it over, but out of bounds. No can do. So, missed there by Natasha Habert. King with the serve now for the Raiders. Raiders down two to three. Solid serve, dug by Pacino. Thoran with the set, goes over the net, completely missing Habert. And that'll be a, that'll be a huge error that gives uh, the Raiders the ball. If you're Thoran, you can't be doing that, Michael. You really can't. That is just a mental mistake. Those are just fundamental points that you need to get it over. And great serve by King. Capra with a little bump over. Great play. Tiger can't quite get there. And it looks like Capra is really picking out the holes in the Regis defense. Not a power spiker. Really not. She's more of a placement. In a, she kind of looks at where the holes are and just kind of plops it over. You don't really see the Lions trying to overpower the Raiders. They're trying to more place it. Serve here by Sarah Fee. Oh, great way by Tiger to get that back in. And Shelby Shawzak throwing it down. And wow, Michael, there's the power we like to see from the Raiders. You can tell Shelby Shawzak is very excited for her last home game. And that one felt great to get that one down and in. Myers here with a serve. Myers with the serve. Dug by Pacino. Set by Thoran. Uh, excuse me, that was Habert. Myers sets for Sturgis and throws it right into Thoran and Sandstrom and comes off their hands. Raiders point. Michael, Raiders, you got to be feeling good, the fact that you got this lead back. Oh, definitely. And Sturgis, you can tell she's starting to get into that big, powerful mode, and hopefully she can just keep going with that and uh, definitely overpower these Littleton. Dig by Chino. Dug by Carlson, set by Myers for Sturgis. And that is That's out. out. That was very close, but Sturgis needs to keep swinging and hopefully she can start getting those ones down like she did earlier and uh, 
just pick apart these Lions. Serve here by Natasha Habert. Dug by Carlson. Set by Myers for Sturgis. Sturgis bumps it over. Fielder gets there. Bump back in. Fielder's just going to bump it over. Cotner gets the setup for Myers. Myers to Desmond. And great placement by Desmond. Kind of bounce it off the top of the net over the Lions players. Michael? You can tell by the look of her face that that was the lucky one for her. But uh, definitely a big point for the Raiders to take this one-point lead. And here comes a very powerful server, Sturgis. Here comes uh, Claire Strome back into the game. Stroman for Kotner, Sturgis for the serve. And that'll be out of bounds, Michael. We've seen it time and time again. The Raiders put the serves out of bounds and just give the Lions back points that shouldn't be theirs. And give that's for the opponent in general. They really do. In most games, you can tell that those little mental mistakes and those serving mistakes come back to haunt the Raiders most of the time. Thoran sets, hit by the Lions, but easily collected by Carlson. Desmond has to contort her body to make that hit. Fielder's just going to bump it over. Sturgis going to, Myers for the set for Strom. Stuffed. Raiders able to keep it in, and Carlson manages to put over a free ball. Lions looking confused, and they hit the pole. Michael, the Lions look like they just gave up after it went over there. And Eileen Penny had no way to really get that over. You could tell definitely that the Lions were definitely confused that the Raiders pulled that unbelievable digs out and was able to get that over. Served by Carlson. Dug by Fielder. The set for, oh, great hit by Carlson. Gherkin, no, Carlson saves. Meyer's going to bump it over. Habert saves for Thoran with the spike. Myers saves. Oh, great volleyball here. Sturgis with the spike. Can't end it with Habert. Looking to end it, number three, but Carlson digs it. Myers sets for Desmond. And Desmond, so powerful, rockets off the arms of Habert when she tried to dig it. I think this match is really going to come down to who has the most endurance and who can keep it up and uh, keep it up the whole game with the power. And Gherkin with the spike right into the net. So giving the Raiders more points. Carlson getting a little streak going on the serve. I think if you're the uh, Lions, Michael, and you lose this next point, you need to call a timeout. I think if they uh, get down by more than four or five, they definitely need to just to regroup. Oh. But Carlson... Trying to go for a home run there. Throws it right into the net and gives the Lions a little momentum check. That is two missed uh, points for the Raiders, just giving them three points. And uh, the Raiders really need to clean those up, especially when they are about to enter into the playoffs. Oh. And, and the, Lions the Lions give it right back. The seven sins of serving, just giving it right back to the team. And here comes Shelby Shawzak back in the game. Both the seniors, and here comes Taggart to serve. What are the seven sins of serving, Michael? Is that like left, right, back, net? I can't think of another three where the serve would go bad. <laughs> dug here, set by Thoran for Penny. Easily dug by Sturgis. Taggart sets for Strom. Strom bumps it over, but Penny gets the dig. Thoran for Fielder. Dug by Taggart. Shawzak bumps it over. Strom. And they say I hit the pole, so that'll be a Lions point. <coughs> Number six for the Lions is back into the game. Brought her back in to serve again. Pacino with the serve. Pacino hits it. Carlson gets it. Strom tries to bump it over. Blocked. But Raiders reset. Shelby Shawzak showing that heart and that will to win that she always shows. Shawzak always comes up big for the Raiders once she comes in. And you can definitely tell she's definitely excited for this one for her last home game. And here comes Kotner to serve. Kotner with the serve for the Raiders. Dug by Fielder, set by Thoran for Gherkin, and Gherkin misses. So that'll be a Raider point. 
Cotner's gonna get the serve back. Now Cotner, not a fantastically powerful server, but she has not missed a serve long or short in her entirety of us watching her. She really hasn't. She's a very accurate server, and I think that's what the Raiders truly need right now. Hit by Habert, and wow, nobody there for the Raiders. Raiders kind of cheating forward for their block, Michael, and just got beat on a short ship over. I think they're trying to uh, defend that nice little poke over the blockers' heads, and there's just too many up front, and there's a bunch of no man's land back there. Gherkin with the serve, dug by Carlson, set by Taggart. Sturgis, what an athletic play, Michael. That was beautiful, just pops it right over and drops it right in sound the inbounds line, and that was a beautiful point by Sturgis. King with the serve. King gets it up, dug by Pacino. Set by Theran for Habert. Habert stuffed. Littleton's fielder's just gonna have to put it over. And here we go, Tiger with the set. Sturgis, another one. She did it again, Michael. Wow, she's just so good with faking that big powerful spike, but then she goes and plops it right inside the bounce, and I believe time, uh, Littleton called that one. So timeout, Littleton want to talk some things over before this one gets two out of, ha uh, out of hand. Oh, you can definitely hear the student section getting into this one. And if you're the Raiders, Michael, anything you need to improve right now? Just those little serving mistakes. You've given up two or three points just off uh, simple serving mistakes and just keep playing your game and uh, now trying to go over to the spikes because they're going to try to defend that nice little pop over their heads. So uh, I think definitely come back with a lot more power. Here comes uh, King for the Raiders. Waiting for the time to run out. Man, Michael, it never seems like anybody uses their full time out in volleyball. Natasha King with the serve. Natalia, excuse me. Capro with the little poke over, and King can't get there. She's been doing that all night to the Raiders. Michael, how do you respond to that? I think they tried it before and come up. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, to come up and try to defend that, but then the Lions defeated that and put it back far, so uh, it's going to be difficult for the Raiders. Fee with the serve, but Wendy Dyer with the spike. Littleton manages to keep it alive. Fee gets it back. Cotner going to put it up. Sturgis spikes over, but a nice set by Fielder to Fee to Habert. Wow. Uh, Michael, I didn't see. They're calling that out. That yeah. was very fast by uh, Habert. Wow. That was cooking. Wow. That's that's rivaling some of the Raiders' speed, which is hard to do. It really is, and you don't really see that much from the Lions. That was the first big, powerful spike we've seen all night. Served by Myers. Great dig by Habert. Fee to Thoran. Myers going to get there. Desmond with the set to Sturgis. Fee there to cover. Fielder. Looking for Habert. Oh, Cotner can't get there. Habert, really the only player tearing up the Raiders other than Capra for the Lions. You can tell that the Raiders, Katie Carlson came up and tried to defend that nice little side of the poke over, uh, but there's just so much room for Cotner to defend back there. It's hard for her to get those balls. Cotner, Habert with a nice short little serve. Ace there for the Lions, so Cotner couldn't get there. Haber is definitely just picking apart the Raiders right now. Haber with the serve. Dug by Carlson. Myers with the set to Dyer. Blocked, but they'll get another chance for Desmond. Wow, somebody get a carpenter down there because I think she just broke the floor. Wow, that was definitely a big, powerful one. and Big point for the Raiders to get that momentum taken away. And here comes Sturgis. Fee looking for Thoran. Thoran with a miss hit that manages to save it. And Michael, those plays just really dishearten a team. You have it defended well, and then all of a sudden she just miss hits it and still manages to get the point. That was pure athleticism there. 
Dug by Strom, looking for Myers. Wendy Dyer with a nice little poke over. And Michael, Wendy is so, she has such great touch when it comes to spiking it. And it is so hard to tell when she's actually gonna spike it or just poke it over. Uh, that's what I think it's really difficult and a really great talent by Dyer. Carlson with the serve. Fee sets to Gherkin. And I don't know what the call was there, Michael. I thought the Raiders blocked it. They did block it, but it came on our side. So uh, okay. that's the Lions point. I just couldn't see that from here with the ref. Capra coming back in for the Lions. Served by Theran. This is a big point for both teams. The Raiders need to get this one just so they can pull away. Sturgis gets there. Myers to King. Oh, great dig by Theran. Capra just going to bump it up, so Fielder plays it over. Myers gets there. Carlson gets there. Strom finishes and brings down the hammer. Wow, that's the Claire Strom we haven't seen in a long time, Michael. And that is the Claire Strom we need to see the rest of the night and through the playoffs. She can definitely be a key player for the Raiders to pull off wins and get those uh, big crucial points. Here comes Taggart. Taggart with the serve. Dug by Fielder, set by Theran for Gherkin. Gherkin gets it over, but Taggart to Carlson to Shawzak. And Shawzak's hit knocked Penny backwards when she went up for the block, Michael. I've never seen that. Well, that was huge by Shelby Shawzak. She's just so much energy tonight that she's just killing that ball. Wow. Taggart with another serve. Dug by Petty, Theran to Fielder. Tiger gets there, Carlson looking for Strom. Theran gets a nice blockish there. Oh, Tiger dove for it, but Strom tipped it. Miscommunication by the Raiders will give the Lions the ball down 18 to 15. Raiders not having taken a timeout this game, and Michael, they're usually a very timeout prone team. Is that a good sign? I uh, definitely think it is, and I think that's a smart play by Claire Strom just to uh, not try to block it and poke it up because they've really been getting killed by those nice little popovers. Fielder sets for Habert. And Habert gets there with the right amount of power and placement. She just has that perfect combo, Michael. That's going to be hard to stop. She really is. She's definitely the powerhouse for the Lions, and the Lions really need to get her the ball to uh, pull off this win. Shawzak gets there. King's going to get there, and... That's rough when it's up against the net to try to get that over, so. That is nearly impossible to try to get those over once you hit the ball right in that net. Puccino with the serve. Lions trail by one. Dug by Strom. Set by Tiger for Shawzak. Shawzak deny. Habert gets another one. Wow. It is all tied up now at 18, and here comes the timeout for the Raiders, for the Regis Raiders. Michael, can the Raiders do anything about Habert? I guess that's my question. Can they do anything? I think they just need to get their uh, blockers up to blocker, and uh, our, we haven't seen many blocks tonight because one, the Lions aren't that powerful of a team, but um, when Habert gets up there, they need to start bringing down the house and stuff and her to, that would be crucial for the Raiders to pull off this win. And so, you could tell the Regis coach right now is uh, showing them formations and telling them how to rotate off those little popovers and uh, how to play the ball. That's one thing I've noticed, Michael. Raiders rotating and staying in position has been fantastic. The Lions seem to struggle with that. And I think the Raiders can exploit that just by taking a little more time and looking for people out of position because that's really a place where the Lions are struggling is getting their rotations. They need to take it, the Regis Raiders definitely need to take advantage of that. Uh, you could tell after about three or four rallies, excuse me, over the net, the Lions look a little disoriented. Strom, oh, King tries to get it and Gherkin says, get out of here. You do not see that very much at all. You normally see King just powerhouse team, but that was a huge point for the Lions to get up. 
Pacino with another serve. Carlson's going to get there. And King. <laughs> wow, great went, athleticism there. Went up too early. Habert is going to get another point. Raiders blocking was even there. I think the Raiders are just so used to powerful spikes that the, the blocks just come straight back down, but these soft ones are kind of messing with their heads. Strom to Tiger to Shawzak. Shawzak, great placement power, getting the Raiders back in this. Michael, I think going back to those blocks, the key is that the Raiders, because of the power, aren't used to flicking their wrists down when they block, and that's what you need to do. Um, I know I had troubles with that back in my volleyball days. Well, Steven, I think those volleyball days were definitely the shining moments of your life. And <laughs> great. And look, oh, she lifted it up, so that will be Raiders' point. And we're all tied at 20 here. Really exciting. Michael, I love my volleyball days, and I love to be back watching the sport, broadcasting the sport for all our fantastic fans out there. Thanks for tuning in. We do this for you guys. Cotner with the serve. Fielder with the dig. Thoran with the set for Habert. And it finally goes out. She is human, Michael. That was a very smart call for the Raiders to know that. The one was going out, and that was a big point to take the lead, and hopefully Kotner can close this one out. Fielder with the dig to Thoran. Gherkin says, I'll take that back, and we're all tied up at 21 now. I think this next point is crucial for both teams to try to pull away, and uh, this first set is always the biggest one, just to get the first momentum part of the game. Gherkin with the serve now. Sturgis, Taggart to Shawzak. Pops it up, Gherkin's gonna get it there, Habert. And Michael, she gets it again. I don't think the Raiders can stop her, I'm gonna be honest right now. The key for the Raiders to win tonight is definitely stopping number eight, Habert. Um, if they can stop her, I believe that they can just take this one away. Gherkin with the serve. Carlson digs and, oh, get a doctor out there. I think Sturgis might have broken Pacino's wrist when she tried to dig that, Michael. That one was going so fast. I think that could have broken her wrist, Steven. And this is a big, powerful server, King. Oh, she just needs to get it in right now. Set by Thoran. Poked over by number nine, Taggart to Sturgis. Oh, wow. Knocks the ram down when she tries to stop it. Michael, her spike just knocked a player down. That is what we need to see for the Raiders to pull off this win. And here comes number 10 back in for the Lions. Capra. King with the serve. Habert with the dig set for Thoran. Back to Habert. And they finally stuff her. You saw the wrist flick by Shelby Shawzak. She knows what's up. That's what, what the Raiders need to do to stop Habert. That will be the key for the Raiders tonight, just to block those big, powerful spikes from her. And uh, one more point for the first set, and hopefully the Raiders can come out and take this one away. So we'll see here. During the timeout, Raiders coach doesn't seem frustrated. She knows they're doing good. I think if you're the Raiders, you don't want to extend the set anymore, Michael. This is probably one of the biggest points of the game, just to put this away. Because the Raiders, usually if we go to four or five sets, start to struggle with their conditioning a little. Just I don't know if it's so much conditioning or mental but uh, we both can agree that they're not the strongest team at closing. You can see against that against Chaparral in many games. Exactly. And, uh, and here comes King. She just needs to get this one in. Pacino gets it. Thoran with the set for Habert. And Pacino gets back. Habert. Cotner's able to get there. Sturge is going to bump it over. Thoran gets there but can't keep it up. And the Raiders will take game one. We'll be back for you to host game two in a second. Great play there by Sturgis. That was a crucial play by Sturgis, and hopefully the Raiders can take this momentum and uh, go to 
And welcome back, folks, to Regis Jesuit High School for tonight's volleyball matchup on senior night here between your very own Regis Jesuit Raiders and the Little Tin Lions. Uh, sorry there, Palms were having a little difficulty with their music noise, so we weren't able to capture that performance. I'm sure we'll be able to next here during the break. For all of you that are just joining us tonight, thank you for listening. Uh, the Regis Raiders are up one set to zero over the Lions, and uh, hopefully the Regis Raiders can come out and get a big lead and take the momentum away. Thorayan to start with the Lions for the serve. Carlson gets there, and King stuffs it down, but Gherkin gets it up. Thorayan to Penny. Carlson digs, and Desmond swatted. Carlson gets it up, though. Desmond will try again. It's time to get it over, but Thoran bumps it up. Fielder bumps it. Thoran bumps it over. Carlson bumps it. Taggart sets it for King. Off Habert and Fielder and finally gets down. King will definitely be crucial in this next game. Hopefully she can get those spikes down like she did. And, uh, hopefully the Taggart can get the Regis Raiders up to a big momentum start and take this away. Taggart with the serve. Dug by Fielder. Set by Thoran for Penny. But Carlson gets the bump. Oh, but nobody there. Miscommunication by Desmond and King because they're both hitters and they wanted a setter to get it. Taggart was not able to go there and the Raiders definitely need just to get that communication just to bump it up and just to play it. Pacino with the serve. Strom gets there. Desmond tries to get the hit, stuffed, and Carlson kind of whiffed. You can see Katie Carlson lapping that one off, wanting it back, and uh, here comes number six for the Lions. Pacino with the second serve. Strom bumps, looking for Strom with the spike. No can do, and Lions is going to have to bump it over. Taggart sets the King, and King with the poke, but Fielder aware, but not quite on target. So that'll go out of bounds, Regis Jesuit point. That ties up the game at two to two, and here comes Cotner in for Desmond, and Cotner, one of the most accurate servers the Raiders have, and hopefully she can start a big lead for the Raiders here and just go on a roll. Cotner with the serve, dug by Fielder. Duran, Gherkin gonna bump it up, and that'll come down out of bounds. Raider point. Lions communication going downhill, Michael, and communication is key. It definitely is key to win these big matches and these definitely close ones. Dug by Pacino, set by Thoran for Habert. Off the head of Shelby Shawzak, I believe, and out of bounds. Ties us up at three. Raiders really seem to thrive in close games, Michael. They really do. You can definitely tell that the Raiders are definitely used to the pressure and play very well. Dug by Carlson, set by Tiger for Strom. Duran's going to get there. Gherkin for Capra. And Capra puts that out, kind of running as she hit it. A little awkward there. And um, I think Littleton needs to work on their placement to set up their spikers, Michael. And I definitely think they need to get it back to number eight, Habert, just to... Uh, she just killed the Raiders in the opening first set, and they just need to get it back to her. Pacino to Habert. Habert back to Pacino. Dug by Kotner. Tiger looking for the set to Strom. Strom just going to have to kind of bump it over. Fielder to Capra. And Tiger can't get there. So that'll be pulling for the Lions, and it looks like we have a ping pong battle just going back and forth, Michael. Another great close one here at Regis Jesuit. And it looks like number 14, Fee, is on for the Lions to serve. Fee with the serve. Dug by Strom, set by Taggart for Sturgis. Pacino with a great dig off the ceiling, though, deflects. And Fee couldn't judge that one down. There is my best friend for life, Sturgis, with a big, powerful spike there. And we need to see more of that from her. Indeed, Michael. You guys are best friends for life. She's my biffle. Awesome. Glad to know, Michael. There you have it, folks. Michael Bell's biffles with Sturgis. Dug by Fielder, set by Fee, and Thoran's going to get it over. 
Carlson sets to Sturgis. Wow, Pacino getting the dig. Fee to Habert. Out. Uh, out, yes. Regis shows you a point. But that was smart by Lyon to get it to Habert. You could tell she's definitely the most eff effective spiker on their team. Myers, Pacino with the dig. Fee with the set to Theran. Cotner gets there. Myers, Sturgis, blocked. I think that one just went right into the net. Sturgis didn't feel too good off the hand there and just went right in the net. And uh, here comes uh, Habert for the serve. And number three comes in Penny for the Lions. Habert with the serve. Carlson to Dyer. Fee gets there to Fielder. Penny, Carlson, Myers, Sturgis. Yes! Touched by the Lions. Number 14 could not tell if that was going in or out, so she kind of put her hands out there and it hit it, and that was very lucky for the Raiders, but a crucial point for the Raiders to go up by one. So Sturgis with the serve. Wow, great serve. Fielder Fee looking for Penny. Able to get there. Myers just going to bump it up, and Sturgis just going to have to put a free ball over. Theran setting. What a terrible set by Theran. That looked like a miscommunication there. It looks like she was setting it for number seven, but seven went on the off opposite, sorry, opposite side of her, and the ball just dropped. Uh, looks like there's a whistle. Oh. It is eight to five. Scoreboard says six to five. So during our short break, Michael, seeing anything interesting, intriguing, out of the ordinary, uh, helpful to our viewers at home? Well, definitely the Regis Raiders seem to keep getting it back to Sturgis because she's been crucial right now, a big server for the Raiders right now. Uh, definitely on her spikes right now. She did miss one of those last spikes, but she's been very powerful recently and uh, – Hopefully she can start picking apart this team like she has in these opening few points and lead these Raiders to a big two set to zero uh, lead. Sturgis with the serve, gonna pop off the net. Miscommunication by the Lions is gonna allow them to get a free ball over. Myers sets, oh, Shawzak! The athletic play tipped by the Lions. I don't know how she got that, Michael. That was very athletic by Shelby Shawzak, and you can see the surprise on her face, but uh, I think it's senior luck tonight, Steven. She had the hang time of Dr. J there, Michael, just staying in the air, and Fielder's going to put a free one over. Carlson gets there. Myers with the set to Desmond, and boom goes the dynamite. Desmond able to get that one through the Lions' concrete wall that is starting to fill with holes. It looks like the Redis Raiders are just taking their hammer to that wall and they're just bringing it down. And timeout, Littleton, they are down by five. And you can tell they just need to regroup and take the momentum away from the Raiders right now. And the Raiders just need to keep doing what they're doing, bring the powerhouse and play their game. And hopefully they can pull a uh, three to zero set sweep against these Lions and hopefully take the momentum up into the playoffs and make a big roll. Definitely. So, digging this music, Michael. It really is. And you can tell the cheerleaders are definitely getting this uh, Regis Jesuit student section into this game, bringing up the seniors and all the players for the Raiders tonight. This music's going to be amped up. Maybe it's doing the same thing for the players. So, Sturgis with the serve. We'll see. Sturgis with the serve. Dug by Habert. Fee, oh. And they will say she touched it twice in the same time. Fee did. So Raiders getting another point. The timeout for Littleton. Not helping. Sturgis with the serve again. Very powerful serve. Dug by Habert. Set by Fee for Penny. And the Raiders brick wall. Not able to get down and get to that after a Slowing down, so Gherkin checking in for the Lions. Fielder with the serve. Yeah. 
Dug by Carlson, set by Myers for Shawzak. And she strikes again. Shawzak striking faster than a cobra tonight here, Michael, and she's doing everything right. She is definitely for her last game, last home game in that region shows her jersey, and she's just so excited, and she's just playing phenomenal tonight. Number nine. Uh, oh, excuse me, Capper checking into the game. Horvat has been number 10 all game. Sorry about that, folks. My roster was messed up. Gherkin getting it over, but Carlson able to get there for Shawzak. No. And that'll go off the nets. That'll be a Littleton point. It will be. When you could tell uh, when Gherkin poked it over that the Regis Raiders have been able to adjust to their defense and get the ball back and not, not so many holes and open gaps anymore. Horvat coming in, who I've been calling all game is Capra. That's number 10 is Horvat, folks. And right into the net, Littleton gives it right back, Thoran. And Regis will take that any day, Michael. Here comes uh, Taggart in the game, one of those seniors. And number six, Claire Strom back into the game. Shout out to Kelly Strom, Claire's older sister, if you're listening. Dug by Thoran, Gherkin. Taggart gets there, but no can do. Gherkin finally getting into it a little. I know Sarah Gherkin, really nice, she's my friend. I actually used to ski with her in Copper Choppers. Pacino with the surf. Dug by Strom, Tiger back to Strom. And Fielder digs that to Thoran, to Horvat, way out. Good communication by the Raiders there to call that one out. And uh, here comes Cotner in for Desmond. We'll see what Cotner can do. Very consistent server. Never had a serving error, actually, in the time we've been broadcasting. Hayward gets there. Thoran sets for Gherkin. But Carlson gets there for Taggart for Sturgis. And... Boom! Sturgis strikes again. Can you dig it? No, you can't. At least the Lions can't. I can dig it. The Lions can't. Fielder to Thoran. And that one drops in for the Lions there. Crucial point for the Lions to take away the big momentum for the Raiders. Here comes one of their star players, Gherkin, up to serve. Hopefully she can start something for the Lions. <laughs> Doug by Carlson, Taggart King out. Lions oh. starting to crawl their way back in, getting ready to pounce. We'll see if the Raiders can hold them off. This is a big point for the Raiders right now. Hopefully they can take this one away and take this little momentum away from the Lions. Carlson gets there, but three hits by the Raiders, and fortunately it's another point for Littleton. It looked like a little miscommunication there, uh, not knowing the three hits, and here comes Gherkin again. Oh, Sturgis oh. gets up and says no. He gets her swat on like Damik Mutumbo and just gets that out of there. Sturge is coming up big again for the Raiders, and here comes King, that crucial serving. Uh, she closed it out for the Raiders last set, and hopefully she can close it out now. Oh, great play by Littleton. Littleton slowly crawling back if you're the Raiders. You might want to call a timeout here, Michael. I don't think you call a timeout now. The momentum's on the Lions' side, so uh, the Raiders definitely need to get the ball back. V with the serve, dug by Carlson. Sturgis with the spike. Oh my gosh. And that is why you don't call a timeout there, Stephen. Big point for Sturgis. Fair enough, Michael. If Sturgis can do that, 
they won't need to call a timeouts all night. Sturgis might be trying to deflate all the balls here because she is hitting those harder than I've seen linebackers hit running backs. Dug by Pacino. And Fielder gonna put it over, but gets there. Carlson gets there. Sturgis just putting it over. Pacino, Thoran, Habert. Oh man, Superwoman strikes again. I don't, Bell, I'm back to believing she's not human. She's got some sixth sense or well, sixth ability. I don't see why the Lions hit it to her more often and try to set her. She seemed to be very big for the Lions. You haven't seen her very much this second set, and uh, here she is up to serve. Habert with the serve. Kotner gets there. Carlson gets there. Shawzak is going to poke it over. Habert, Thoran, looking for Penny. But Carlson's able to get there. Oh, great play by Myers and Sturges. Penny to Thoran. Thoran just going to poke it over. Carlson looking for Sturges. And gets it off Capra. Now we are just seeing Sturges just go on a roll here. And here comes Smith in for Cotner. And here comes Sturges to serve for the Raiders. And hopefully she can get the momentum and keep going and close the second one out. Very Raider, powerful serve. Raiders still a five-point lead. Thoran sets for Penny. Sturgis there. Myers to Shawzak. No. Shawzak won't get there. So Lides now within four. 18-14 here in the second set. Raiders lead the match one to zero. Fielder with the serve. Has Fielder left the floor tonight, Michael? I don't believe so. And I don't I haven't seen uh Habert lead the floor very much either. And it, oh, looks like two hands for the Raiders. So hopefully they uh hopefully the Raiders can get this next point. They're only up by three. Uh, crucial time for the Raiders to uh, take this momentum away from the Lions. Great dig. Oh, oh, miscommunication. Raiders starting to shoot themselves in the foot, Michael. Looks like the Denver Broncos last night in the opening half. And Myers, Will Smith, first time we've seen here all day. Thoran looking for Penny and stuffed but out of bounds. So, so unfortunately the Lions have crawled back to within one. And Michael, this is what I was thinking to avoid with the timeout if you're the Raiders once you start to slip. See, now the Raiders have to take a timeout and they're only one point up. They could have taken it with four points up and maybe preserved a lead. Now it's much more stressful. That was my thinking behind it at least. Well, I'm glad you can make a legitimate argument there. But uh, the, you could tell the Regis coach just pointed to the scoreboard saying, come on, girls, we're only down by one, uh, we're only up by one, sorry. We need to get our act back together and hopefully uh, bring the power back and the block parties back into this game as they have been doing and uh, hopefully take the momentum away from these Lions right now. The Lions coming back onto the court. It looks like Fielder again is going to go serving for the Lions. She's just got a little streak going for the Lions. and The Raiders right now really need to take that streak away from them. Players just anxiously waiting for play to resume. Here we go. Fielder with the serve for the Lions. Dug by Carlson. Set by Myers to Smith. And Habert gets the dig. Penny with the hit, but Carlson there. Myers to Shawzak. Duran gets there. Fielder. Penny. Carlson. Myers. Dyer. Duran. Fielder. Habert. Out. That was a big point for the Raiders. Crucial mental mistake for Habert to hit that one a little too far. You can tell that both teams were just going back and forth and a little anxious power by Habert there. And here comes Katie Carlson for the Raiders. Katie Carlson with the serve. Habert gets there. Thoran for Penny. 
And she gets it. Wow, teams are just going back and forth. Raiders only up by one. What a key play today. Uh, key play right now for the Raiders. Hopefully to not tie this up and uh, get a little streak going to close to the second set out. Horvat checking in. Theran with the serve for the Lions. Regis leads by one. King giving him two. Great play by King Michael. And we've seen that, a lot of athletic contorting today. For the first time all season, folks, we will see number two. I don't even know her name, I'm sorry, but number two's on the court for the Raiders for the first time all season. It looks like she is, she's playing in the JV game and here comes Taggart. Oh, what a forgiving serve and just crawls right over the net, and that is a big point for the Regis Raiders, and hopefully Taggart can hopefully close this second set out. <laughs> Michael, whenever you could get an ace, it's always a good thing. And Tiger with another serve. Fielder able to dig. Theran looking for Habert, but Carlson gets there. Set by Tiger for Smith. Smith denied, but it goes out of bounds, and now the Raiders looking to have a chance to close the set out on Taggart's serve. So Taggart looking for the serve here. Already has an ace tonight. Fielder able to get the dig. Theran looking for Penny, and Penny knocks that one way over the fences. Little too much spinach on that one, and that'll give the Raiders another serve. Littleton's gonna have to call timeout. They are here definitely just to calm this momentum away from the Raiders. Uh, that was a big timeout called last time by the Raiders just to get the momentum stopped, and they did exactly what they needed to do, get the momentum back on their side, and hopefully uh, close this one out. They're up by four right now, only uh, three more points to close this second set out, and hopefully it will be massive and uh, big momentum change for the Raiders if they can get up uh, two sets to zero. So here comes, shout out to Riley Lorente, a quick little visit to our booth. So Caitlin Taggart with the serve here for the Raiders, looking to close that with two quick points. Shout out also to Trey Ahern, who just visited our booth. Oh, that'll oh. be three. Penny not able to get that, bounced right off Fielder, who wasn't expecting it. And once it got back to Penny, she didn't know what to do with that. Raiders looking to go off two to zero on this point. Caitlin Tiger with the serve. And it's up, and Penny gets there. Theran with the set. Looking for Horvat. Oh, off Sturgis to Carlson. Littleton staying alive. Ah, 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 staying alive, staying alive. So. That was a big <laughs> point by Horvat there just to keep the Lions alive. And this is a big serve for number six. Pacino with the serve. Dug by Sturgis, set by Taggart for number two. And Gherkin throws it down. But they touch the net, and that's the game. Raiders go up two to zero. Wow, what a way to end it. You can see on uh, Mr. Girl number two's face that so that was a big relief off her face just to win that one. And here comes the Regis Jesuit Palms team on the floor again. Hopefully their music will work this time. So we'll see you back after this performance. We apologize, but we can't get their music. So um, we'll see you back in a second after the Palms performance.
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to God, not Guy Gibbs Gymnasium, to Regis Jesuit High School for the girls' division gym for tonight's matchup between the Regis Jesuit Raiders and the Littleton Lions. Michael, keys for the third game. Regis up 2-0. to zero. Well, all of you who are just joining us for this third set, hopefully the Regis Raiders can take the momentum they have and uh, – come behind the crowd the crowd's very loud tonight and hopefully this last home game and senior night that the Raiders can come out with a lot of power like they have and play their game and hopefully take this three set sweep against the Lions and keys for the Lions Michael the keys for the Lions I think definitely give it to uh Haybert Moore uh she's definitely been a key powerful spiker and the Raiders haven't really seen the Stop her very much, so uh, definitely give it to her more often. Tiger with the serve, Penny to Theran, looking for Horvat. Horvat sends it long, and Raiders start off with the first point. Michael, dangerous territory for the Lions. You gotta get out here early. You really do. Uh, as seen in last sets, it's very hard for the Lions to come back and uh, take the sets away. Theran with the set, looking for Penny, but Tiger there. Carlson looking for Sturgis. Popped way up off the ceiling. Hayward able to get there and Gherkin bumps it over. And King there, but Fielder looking. Sturgis to Tiger looking for Desmond. Durand for Fielder. Carlson bumps it back over. Gherkin, but Sturgis there. Tiger for Strom. Hayward gets it. Durand and Horvat have miscommunication. And Habert can't quite get it over. Wow. What a rally there, Steven. That Michael, was... it looked like Regis had control the entire time. You could tell definitely by the conditioning, too, that uh, the Regis Raiders were still staying in sync, and those long rallies don't phase the Raiders. Here comes Taggart. Taggart with the serve. Dug by Penny for Thoran, looking for Horvat. It gets up. Oh! Great save by Carlson and Desmond. No, another great save by the Lions. Penny. Sturgis bumps that for Tiger, who's going to get that to King, and they say she lifted it. Unfortunate there for the Raiders, but what a save by Carlson, laying her arm flat on the ground and just letting the ball bounce off it. That was huge for the Lions to get that first point of this third set, and that was what an unbelievable dig by Katie Carlson just to stick that arm out there. Pacino, Sturgis digs, looking for Desmond, no. And because that didn't cross, that'll be four hits for the Raiders. Raiders need to get out to an early lead because just like the Lions, they aren't good at coming back. No, none of these teams are. You can tell whoever gets the first early momentum really seems to take the set away. Tiger for King, but Pacino is there. Thoran for Habert. But Sturgis is there. Desmond, no. Thoran for Fielder. Fielder for Horvat. Stuffed but out of bounds. Michael, Regis has only had one successful block tonight, but they're winning. Uh, do you think they're doing anything extra to account for that? No, I just don't. I think it has to deal with the Lions. They're really not a big, uh, powerful, spiking team. So I think that Desmond has to roll into play and wow what a big spike by Desmond there tipped off the Lions so that will tie up the game three to three and according to our stats Michael that's actually the fifth time it has tipped off Thoran to go out of bounds so Thoran really not thanks to our statistician Tom Beasley giving us that stat Thoran sets for uh, Gherkin but Taggart is there Carlson looking for Sturgis but Pacino is there. Thoran sets. Habert. Taggart gets it, but one of the coaches playing along, hitting that back out. I didn't <laughs> like he didn't hit it up. You can see him chuckling. Coach Chance out there just trying to give his Raiders a little luck. Ref saw it, though. Gherkin, serve. Short serve. But Carlson gets there. Sturgis bumping over. Thoran is there. Gherkin sets for Habert, who's stuffed. Raiders finally found an answer to Habert. That was big by Sturgis just to get back in here. And a yellow card 
or uh, I don't know. He's flashing it at the Lions bench, but I don't know who it is to. It looks like the referee is talking to the scoreboards. If you get a yellow card, same thing as in soccer, you have to go sit down. So it might have been the player that just subbed out, which would be Gherkin. It's not the Lions coach, because the Lions coach is still standing. So I did not see anything out of the ordinary either, Steven. She must have said a bad word or something to the referee that uh, gave her that yellow card. So four to four here in this third set. Raiders lead two to zero on senior night here. A Regis Jesuit. Teams huddling up to talk. The Lions coach is talking to the official right now. Looks like she's explaining what happened or what and she did. And I believe the Lions coach is going to have to take a seat with that yellow card because the Lions players all scooted down one seat. So I couldn't tell you if he was blamed on the Lions coach. And, yep, yep. she is going to take a seat. So it must have been Yep, on it was her. the Lions coach. We saw the Regis uh, head coach get a yellow card earlier in the season. So King with the serve. King has kind of a knuckleballing serve. Pacino gets there. Thoran for number seven. Great placement there by Sandstrom, number seven. Haven't seen much of her, but great placement there, Michael, on that hit to give the Lions the lead. Especially after that uh, yellow card. That was a big point for the Lions just to get that one back. Fee with the serve. And Strom gets there. Tiger looking for Strom again. Strom jumped a little early and couldn't get there. Lions point. Looks like Taggart let her just a little bit too much. And as you said, Strom jumped a little bit too early and wasn't able to get in there. So Fee with another serve. Fee hits it. And Carlson and Strom run into each other but get it up for Sturgis. Oh, Pacino saves. Fee looking, running into the stands. She, hopefully she's okay. Really selling out. You love to see heart like that, Michael. Definitely, Steven. Just shows the competition and the heart in these girls playing tonight. Uh, such a big match for both teams. Um, just to get the momentum for both teams, just to go into the playoffs and hopefully make a run. Myers with the serve. Fielder digs, Sturgis throws that back down. Thoran throwing it up, Thoran. Let me get my stat sheet here. Thoran now has six or seven errors. And that, my statistician says that's only from the second and third game. So she's up around 13 errors for the night. Real liability there, Michael. Myers with the set for Shawzak and touched by Fee. She's done that time and time again. It's going out and Fee touches it. It seems like her confidence is not there tonight, Steven. She's just, <coughs> excuse me, that her confidence isn't there tonight, that she's just so indecisive it's going to go in or out, so she kind of puts her arms out there, and it's really been helping the Raiders. And Fielder not able to handle Myers' serve. So Ra Raiders now 8-6 after being down 4-6. to six. Myers having a nice little run here. Seems like the lines are a little out of sync right now. And wow, Lions don't know why they're calling that out. That landed just about center court. A-C-E, a slut for Myers. But little miscommunication there for the Lions, Michael. That fell right in the middle of the court. That was a 5-0 to zero sweep uh, for the Raiders right there, and that was crucial for the Raiders just to get up. And the Lions just seem confused, miscommunicating, and personally, I just think they're out of sync right now. And I don't know if it's a sign of maybe just giving up right now, but they can't give up right now. They're only down two sets. Hopefully they can get three more sets and pull this amazing comeback off. But um, sorry, excuse me again. Uh, hopefully Lions can get these next few points and hopefully take this one, uh, this third set away from the Raiders. So
Observed by Myers. See here what she can do. Myers with the serve. And Habert, Theran to fielder. Carlson going to be there. And Sturgis. Pacino bounces that up, but off the basketball hoop. Sends it rocketing downward, and now Raiders taking a commanding lead. This is definitely what the Raiders were looking for in this third and hopefully final set. And here comes Myers again. Oh, yeah. Did not hit off her hand right, and you can tell by her head pointing to the ground that she could want that one back, and that was just not her serve. And Michael, here, those just those make me sad because the Raiders are just on such a roll. Dug by Kotner. Myers with a set to Shazak. Is that tipped? Oh, I thought it was tipped there, Steve. I did too, Michael, but refs say no. So Haybert will get another serve. Here we go, Kotner. Sturgis with the smash. And Sturgis smashes her way to a point and the service spot. Regis now up 11 to 8. And if they win this one, they take it home. So Lions got to climb back and climb back quickly. Hit by Penny. Carlson gets there. Myers with the set for Shazak. Oh, and Shazak miss hits it. No can do. So Lions will get the ball back here, Michael. And we'll see what Fielder can do. Fielder's really been keying all over the court. So Fielder with the serve. Sturgis. Myers to Dyer, no, Fee gets there. Fielder, backcourt hit for Haber right into the net, and that gives the Raiders the ball back right away. So, really interesting there. Michael, what, Michael, really, what do you think of the Lions here if they don't get back into this within the next couple points, can they come back? I think if the Raiders get, oh wow, beautiful block by King. Great dig by Katie Carlson. Set. Here comes De oh, oh, Desmond jumped a little bit too early and was not able to get that one away. But uh, big momentum back to the Lions to get that crucial point. Only down by two. But if the Raiders start taking a few more points away, and I don't think the Lions could come back from this. So Theran with crucial serves for the Lions. King. Oh, Fielder gets there. Penny poking it over, but Myers is waiting. Carlson looking for Shawzak. Habert digs. The ran to Horvat. And apparently that cross, so that'll be a live ball. Desmond, fielder gets the dig. Horvat setting it. Penny's just going to have to free that over. King tries to put it away, but Thoran is there again. Fielder, another backcourt hit for Thoran. Myers to Carlson, Carlson to Desmond. Fielder tries to get there again. Can't quite get there. Raiders looking really in control, Michael. Lions on backpedaling defense the entire time. They are, you can tell the Raiders were just attack, attack, attack that last round. And here comes Katie Taggart in for the serve and Claire Shrome, a very big powerful server. And hopefully the Raiders bring them in just to hopefully just uh, put this one back. Caitlin Taggart, Fielder gets the dig. Theran looking for Horvat. No, here comes Taggart. Desmond, oh, great save by the Lions, but can't quite get there. So, wow, really shocking there. Um, Regis Jesuit taking a commanding lead, folks. So stick with us, because this one could be over shortly. Later's lead 14-10 with a 2-0 lead. Tiger with the serve. Dug by Haber. Set. No. Sturgis digs. Tiger looks for Desmond. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was Michael. That looked like a meteor from outer space coming in at a gazillion miles an hour. Knocked the ran backwards and stunned her. Wow. Holy cow. Number 12 is furious after that one because that one just went so fast. She could do nothing about it. Carlson sets to Taggart for King. And the Raiders, 
starting to throw down the hammer right on top of the Lions, and there is nothing they can do about it, Michael. They have them pinned down right now, and the Raiders are not letting them back up. You can tell the coaches on the Lions' side are just saying, calm down, ladies, just get back together and focus up. And <laughs> what a miscommunication there. I think the coach needs to pull Theran, Michael. She just had a terrible game. That is her 17th error. You can just tell by the emotions. It looks like she might just be giving up. And Michael Fielder gets it back. So Raiders going to have a chance to spike again. Strom off the hands. And I, uh, Michael, I think that's game. Raiders making a fantastic run here. Now up 18 to 10. I think that's game. I think the Raiders have won this. I think they have. That was just closure right there. And oh, that sparks a little hope for the Lions that miss serve from Taggart. You don't really see that very much. That was a big rally uh, by Taggart there. And here Michael, comes Smith in for the game for Desmond and the unknown number two for Close Rome. Michael, the Raiders giving Littleton a ripple of momentum, but it at this point, I think they need a tsunami. Pacino to serve. So here comes Pacino with the serve. Number two digs it. And she'll get the spike, but she is blocked. And the Lions getting very emotional about every point because they know this is their season on the line, especially at 2-15, and 15, Michael. They are just hanging off the cliff, and they're just trying to climb back on the mountain. And here comes King with a nice pop over, and that was beautiful. And if you're the Raiders, Michael, it's got to feel good to be Goliath for once. They're normally David, the un <laughs> excuse me, the underdog, but this time they're Goliath. And if you're the Raiders, it's got to feel good to go into a tournament like the regionals with that feeling. It is, hopefully the Raiders can take this momentum. Oh, great block by King there. The Raiders need to take this momentum into the playoffs and hopefully make a nice little streak because they can play with those big teams like Chaparral like they had. What an athletic play by our mystery woman, contorting her body and getting her weak hand up there. I happen to know she's left-handed from watching her hit. She gets her right hand to pop it over. Raiders now lead 20 to 12. Cotner with the serve. I am interested in why she wears sunglasses inside. Uh, those are actually sport glasses, Michael. And um, she uses them. She also plays soccer, so they are prescription. And she uses them for outdoor and indoor sports. And the uh, color contrast helps her eyes a little uh, with that orange. Thank you for that, Steven. No problem, Michael. So Gherkin able to get there. Tagger with the Sir Sturgis. Oh, Pacino gets it up. But that's the second time this game Pacino's put it up and it's come right off the basketball hoop. Basketball hoop almost swatting it right down. Raiders now lead 21 to 13. Michael, the crowd is on the edge of their seats. They know the Raiders are looking strong and feeling strong heading to this tournament and that they are cleaning up tonight, mopping the floor with these Lions. They are especially, oh, King steps on herself there. Uh, but definitely the Raiders need to close this one out and hopefully get a 3-0 sweep. That will be big momentum for the Raiders to take that into playoff play. And this is a big match for the Raiders. Fee with the serve for Littleton. The hit. Cottner gets it. Taggart looking for number two. Uh, Duran sets it to Habert. <laughs> and that'll go out. Touched by the Raiders, so it'll still be fee serve. The Raiders, you know, watch out here. They're only down by six, and the Lions kind of regathering here. Hopefully they don't sneak up and pull this one off. Fee with the serve. Cotner, great play to get there. Sturgis hit out of the backfield and gets it. Wow, Michael, she had to back up a little, but she just placed that perfectly down the line. Sturgis looking absolutely fantastic form tonight along with Shawzak. Carlson looking in good form, and overall the Raiders just looking better form than the normal, Michael, and heading into regionals, that's what you want. Definitely a major improvement seen tonight by the Raiders, and timeout, Littleton crucial. Raiders only need three more points to 
get this one with a 3-0 sweep. And you can definitely hear from the cheerleaders right now that, and the student section, to boost up their team right now and cancel this one out and give no more hope to the Lions. And, and Michael one. really hoping that these Littleton Lions aren't like the St. Louis Cardinals down to their final strike and then manage to come back time after time. If you think about it, the Raiders need three points to win at their shortest. And at the shortest, the Littleton Lions would need 50 more points. 5-0 to win this. That's amazing. The Raiders are just dominant. Serve here by number 12, another mystery woman for it us. It looks like they're bringing in some young players from the JV team to get nice experience here. Fielder. Hey, Bert. Oh, good dig by our mystery number 12, and Sturgis just going to pop that over. Fielder to Theran. Theran looking for Habert. Cotner gets there. Number 12 sets. Oh, Cotner has to hit out of the back, but Pacino able to collect. Fielder gets it over. Oh, man. And that's some inexperience showing there for our mystery woman, number 12. Cotner not really a hitter, and she played it back for a backfield hit to her. Yeah, that was definitely a weird approach. I thought she was definitely going to set it up there for the big, powerful Sturges or Shawzak, but she actually set it backwards, which was weird. But uh, here she goes, setting it for Shelby. Shelby has to reach back. Great dig. Here comes number three for the Lions. Spiked out of bounds. Big point for the Raiders. Penny puts it just over the line there, giving Sturgis the serve. Can Sturgis close it out? Raiders within two points of victory tonight. Sturgis, normally a very powerful server, not very accurate uh, most of the time, but hopefully she's very powerful serve. Habert to Theran, fielder just trying to get it over. Smith, great judgment, and Smith is going to get the hit. Oh, Lions playing that, and we'll see. Fee can't get it over, and with one point to go, Michael, I'm pretty sure the Raiders have this locked up. Who are your players of the game for tonight for each team? Uh, definitely tonight for the Lions, number eight, uh, Habert, and number two, Fielder for the Lions. Oh, Sturge is unable to get that final serve over. But for the Raiders tonight, I definitely will give it to one of the seniors, Shelby Shawzak. She came in, got the points when she was in, played very well tonight. And uh, my second player of the game, I would give to Sturges. Very powerful tonight, very consistent, and came up big for the Raiders when they needed it. So I think my players of the game tonight, Michael, are going to be Pacino, actually, for the Lions. She had so many fantastic digs and kept the Lions in this. And there we go, victory for the Raiders. And I think definitely my player of the game for the Raiders is Sturgis, Michael. She was all over just slamming it. So great game, great win for the Raiders and momentum, and a great way to end Shawzak and Taggart's season. A shout-out to them. And, folks... Um, tune in to live.reachjesuit.com to see upcoming broadcasts. We might be doing volleyball regionals if we can get this stuff together, but we will be there Friday from Lou Kellogg Stadium. We have Regis Jesuit versus, I believe, the Highlands Ranch Falcons in football. Yes, it Mountain Vista Golden Eagles uh, in football. So tune in Friday night at 7 p.m. Uh, signing off for Michael Bell, Tom Beasley, Charlie, Chuck Smith, and Tommy Raines. This is Steven Snyder. Have a great night.